every day around the world, we are losing history. Neglect, political strife, and the desperation of poverty lead to the destruction of mankind's most important global heritage sites in developing countries, thousands of years old. More than just remnants of the past, they are the very foundations of our modern culture. Our job is to really find the sites that are going to represent humanity 500 years from now that are very unique and they're priceless. The key is, is to uh, what is a site worth when there's only one in the whole world? It's kind of like finding the last, you know, if you could only save three Picassos, we call it the Picasso test, what Picassos are you going to save? Since its inception in 2002, Global Heritage Fund has worked around the world to preserve and protect humankind's most important archaeological and cultural heritage sites in developing countries. In Mirador, Guatemala, GHF is seeking permanent protection for the largest and earliest Maya archaeological sites in Mesoamerica and the last intact tropical forest of the Maya biosphere. Preservation of the magnificent Mayan temple structures has revealed historical treasures, and the project has had a positive impact on the land and the people around it. In a region devastated by the clear cutting of forests, historical preservation halts this destruction, and GHF is helping to create sustainable economic opportunities for the local community, providing viable alternatives to clear cutting of precious tropical forests is not just investing in the site for the preservation of our history, it's also for the people today so that they can make a living. Because we're developing a billion dollar asset in most of the projects we're working, the long-term impact of developing a, a, a site is going to be thousands of new jobs, tens of millions of dollars in improved income for the people there. In order to bring the project to fruition, uh, you need so many different elements. You have the planning and the scientific methodology that GHF is able to provide. You have the uh, community coming together, um, and you have the people coming together uh, to provide the funding support. And until all of these forces come together, uh, you can't really have uh, a successful project. We've made tremendous strides in, in, in bringing art and architecture uh, to the public eye for the first time in history. Global Heritage as an organization can go down there and work with their government and with their communities to get them to understand that there is a, a better future for them in developing these heritage sites. As development sweeps across China at a stunning pace, many of its historic sites are threatened. The UNESCO World Heritage Site of Pingyao Ancient City is one of the last intact walled cities in China, with hundreds of magnificent courtyard buildings from the Ming, Qing, and early Republic eras. I don't think anyone realizes, but it's really been the last 20 years where we've lost probably more of these major sites, places all across Asia, to modernization, unplanned development, looting, and encroachment, almost complete loss of what was there a hundred years ago. Those uh, problems have never been more pressing. Thanks to generous support from individuals, foundations, and corporations, GHF raised more than $12 million and leveraged over $9 million in co-funding in projects around the world since its founding in 2002. In the next 10 years, our goal is to invest $40 million into 40 heritage sites worldwide. By helping Global Heritage, we're doing something that's far broader and far more important, saving the environment and getting people to develop a livelihood that isn't just uh, subsistence farming is, let's face it, even more important because it's going to save lives, it's going to give people better lives. I think it, it is a responsibility of us as Americans 
to think about all these sites around the world. After all, America is made up of immigrants. Major projects unfolding include global heritage sites in Hampi, India, Bantai Chamar, Cambodia, Serini, Libya, Chetal Hoyok, Turkey. Basically, the destruction of these sites, they've been around for thousands of years, and we're losing them on our watch. History is a part of each one of us, and it falls upon us all to be its stewards for today and for future generations.